Yeah. So, we are back with another freaking video. Back with another freaking tree yeah, video. Yeah. Yo. Yeah. Before we just start, baby, go ahead and bring them on in. Yo. We are back with another video, guys. What's been going on? How are you feeling coming in the week two of January? Who we got up, babe? Hey, man, so y'all know this whole thing with Snoop and M. So, I saw this pop up on the timeline at Breakfast Club. It's just the headline attracted me. I know the Breakfast Club probably have a few other things they talk about, but it said there might be some friction between Snoop and M. So I want to see what, I'm going to skip forward to what they're talking about between Snoop and M. Let's yeah. see what they're saying. So check out a couple of our reaction videos, guys. We've already done on Eminem and this, but I'm curious to hear what they're talking about. Too. All right, let's do it. The Rumor Report. This is The Rumor Report with Angela Yee on The Breakfast Club. Well, yesterday, so I got the Jay idea was some see. people are involved is ridiculous. Oh, I Giving wanted to hear that back. too. And that is because the increase on that list, though. And he and three other men. This is specifically by Eminem. Okay, and, honey, and, I have to go Snoop. and check it out. He's got mad guys. money. You can afford security. security. In, in this city. Mm. All what right, now. Let's okay, take a okay, let's see. All right. You got. I see Snoop, Snoop. out there. Okay. About Clubhouse, because it goes down on Clubhouse. All kinds of secrets are told. Well, my guy Daz was on there from the Dog Pound, and he was talking about why Snoop and Eminem might have some issues. Here's what Daz had to say. Okay, um, Daz. To and then talking about Daz Dillinger. Dillinger. Of course so, I know who Daz is. Boop. He asked Eminem and them to get on his song, uh, you know, like to get on his album, and they told him no. And Snoop felt some type of way, like, I did all this and all that. And they tell me no. See, that that would pose as an immediate problem. If you're the OG in the game and I've worked with this person, this person, it, it he I'm sure Snoop I never so. hit. I, I could definitely say I would I could feel I would feel offended I'm, too. I'm sure no is not in the category for him and of what course, he is. Especially in with Snoop. Who gonna say who said so I hold on me. Okay, see. I get you. And you know Snoop like no nobody tell me no. But right. Eminem probably didn't even know that Snoop asked to do a song. That probably was Paul Rosenberg saying no. So he took it. Back. See, that's another thing. Oh. You could have a person, your people, people then said no to the, to, and then it automatically feel like the artist said no. Right. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. So. Personal. They took it personal. As he should have. He should have took it personal. As much as Snoop did for, for all of them and helped them. Yeah. And I asked you to get on my album. You told me no. I would take it personal. Yeah, too. but. Right. But I understand what Daz is saying because he might not have spoken directly. You know how sometimes you go through a person to get to the person, through another person, and then. The artist you wanted to, because uh, I, I can't imagine Eminem saying no to Snoop. Right. Just, okay, you know, stop like, that. I so I, my thing is, I thought that, you know, a lot of people who are in the industry who are celebrities, they are like already connected to each other. But this kind of let me know that they're not. I mean, I know they have, because you see them do, but they haven't done a video together. I was going to say, you see them work together and you automatically think that they're in contact with each other. But that may not be the case. It may be a PR or a manager or somebody else that's in there. See, but I would think that I would think from an elite level on the artist side, y'all can re I can reach out and touch out and call you directly. I ain't I ain't stunning out your peon people. Exactly. I'm going directly to you. Why they gotta be peon? I'm just saying that because <laughs> I know I was just I was just listening to Fifty Cent talk about this in in his book. You know about you know when you're going through how that's the difference between the gatekeepers and non gatekeepers in the past. You have to go through people, which is when you look at it compared to the day and age, that's whack. Yeah. I go directly to you now. And yeah. so I would think that he has a way of getting to touch him, you know, contact him directly. Right. So I don't think he would. So it could be that he didn't even know. Snoop ain't got to go through 20 people to get to Eminem, though. Exactly. No? Exactly. Mm. But, but, but either way, why the hell is Eminem so sensitive? Eminem would get on records and say what he want about people for years. But as soon as Snoop says, you know, M's not in his top 10, and Snoop was objective. Snoop said, yo, M is in a lot of people's top 10. He's just not in mine. Hmm. But did that really warrant? But like I said, it wasn't the fact that he said it wasn't in his top 10. It's the fact that he said he could keep that ish. And that's what the extra energy right. fuel. That's what fueled Eminem. And all it takes is a little bit of disrespect for Eminem. And then it's like... He get Eminem kind of gets really, he get really serious by any kind of thing that take his name or anything sideways. Mm -hmm. It's been tested the time. He's done it through years. So Snoop ain't going to be no different. Well, yeah. But Eminem, I mean, Eminem make the whole album he's, and just be like, you know, I really intentionally make the whole album for that one song. <laughs> I mean, right. <laughs> 
I feel like, you know, just like uh, Charlemagne said, as, as, you know, as, as big as they are, why do we need to go to a middleman to get to each other? Waste I don't, the time. You no, know, let's, I, I need your phone. I mean, let's get the phone numbers and let's let's talk about this. One hundred percent. Yeah, let's. As let big as Snoopy this. is in the game, and as let many me people call know, and ask him. I mean, hey, I want you to feature on a song or whatever, whatever. Let's do this. All he got to do is DM him or put a message out, and immediately they'll be DM and have phone numbers on the phone. That's just that quick. Right. They don't even need to ask who know who. They can message you on on, on your social media, and you gonna ask. I guarantee yeah. you. Or call on Instagram like. They do when they surprise some of the fans, you know what I mean? <laughs> well, sometimes if you've got to work some on the back end, you'll need to put people on, on, on there seeing what's going on. No, I, I didn't say go live. You can still call the person on Instagram. Like people call us. Oh, yeah, yeah for sure. Without, without, without other people Yeah, knowing. call the person on Instagram and you know it's them because you see the thing. And they'll hear like, it. What the heck? The Snoop? Snoop? I agree. I agree. Some I don't think that's what he was upset at, about because he Eminem said he wasn't. He wait, wait, wait! What he said about this? He said, "Yo, Em is in a lot of people's top ten. He's just not in mine." Well, did that really warrant? Some I don't think that's what he was upset at, about because he Eminem said he wasn't. Him yeah, saying he said it was his tone. 10, that's was fine. Tone. Have you? No, I think it was because he said him? I could live. I think it was because he said he could live without him or something like that. Eminem has killed so many pop artists in his music. <laughs> okay, <laughs> he's talking about people not living not living without people. He's killed so many pop artists in his music. But Why is I he think so it's he sensitive he about the situation? Cool. Yeah, because he had murdered some people in the game that yeah. just can't come back for their career after because he tore them up. This is Snoop, the one and only Snoop. Yeah, it won't dog. happen like that. It'll, it'll, not with them two. You it, know, it can't so be a kill. Snoop. If Snoop says something, of course. You being who you are are gonna be like, wait a minute, this this ain't just anybody. This is plus the Snoop. Plus you are gonna have M fans that's gonna be like, oh forget Snoop, and then when them two eventually make up, cause they'll eventually get cool. I know for sure they'll get get cool. They be like, oh I love them both. <laughs> hey, bro, you no, can bro. never you say forget cool. Snoop. Just, you gotta just keep it neutral, man. Snoop is a true G. I think it's because he thought they were cool with each other. It's different when it's somebody you don't care about and they say something about you, but if you like, damn, where did that come from? I'm sure Snoop thought they were cool too when Snoop asked him before to be on the album and they said no. I mean, you heard what Dad said though. He thinks it was a misunderstanding. He probably, Eminem might not have even known. But even if it was Rosenberg, that's his manager. That's his right hand man. Like, should be the same thing. We just don't know what happened. It could have been a- This is the same thing like Young Thug was talking about to T.I. on Expeditiously about Andre 3000, about how he was easily able to chat with um, 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 Elton, John. Elton John. And he said Elton John was a person that more will kiss his butt on a stance of, you know, I love what you do, I love your music, let's put something together, versus he said he tried to reach out to Dre and got an assistant, executive, and blah, blah, blah. So it's kind of on that level, you got that middle Peace ain't what you need on there. But isn't that me thinking about personalities? And I don't know, I'm not about to go into no long spiel about it, but if you have ever taken a personality test, you know, we have, and it tells you the different types of personalities, I think it's just different personalities. When you think about Elton John, he's high enthusiastic. He seemed like, you know, hey, I love your music, you know, hey, man, let's rock. Yeah. Whereas Andre 3000 is cool, calm, collected. You know, he may not be a fan outwardly, but if he's going to work with you, he's got to be, you know, artists got to say, OK, I'm digging you to a certain degree because they're just not going to rock with anybody. I think it's, it's, it's time to a degree for big names to get away from being able to deal with lower people to get back up to, to some to their the person they're trying to get to. Like they don't need to be going oh, down here saying. and back up here. We got avenues where you can just go straight line, a B line, straight there. What I so, mean, social media is and, one way, and but if not, can, and that ends all the yeah, right. kind of issue. Yeah, hit you up on social. If media. you tell me you don't like, you got a problem. You told me directly, so I know what it is. Yeah. But if it went through somebody, I don't really know what it was. Yeah. I don't know what they said to you. Especially if you don't want to have to go through the politics of going through a manager and going through this person, just go on Instagram because I, I would, I True. sure would. Right. The misunderstanding. <sighs> I'll say this, Eminem must be tone deaf then, because he hasn't heard his own tone <laughs> over the years if you don't like somebody's tone all of a sudden. Like, come on, you're Eminem, man. Knock it off. I mean, if he felt a way about it, he could be honest and say it. I think that's fine, right? But don't yeah, you think so that's a little we... hypocritical? Especially being that he's said what he's wanted about people for years? 
Mm. I mean, I think if you cool with somebody and then they say that about you and it comes out of nowhere and you're like, damn, where did that come from? It's yeah. probably right. different than if it's somebody you don't know or mess with. Yeah. Right. I, I agree. But anyway, that is your rumor report. I'm Angela Yee. All right. Thank you, Miss Yee. Charlemagne, who you giving your donkey to? You know, uh, I'm giving donkey of the day to members of Al Cracker and Vanilla Isis. I know yes. <laughs> what? Anyway, but that's it. Okay. Um. They okay. About. But that's, you know, to me, what that summed it up, I know that there was a video out there that had um, Royce the 5'9", and he was on Clubhouse, and it was like a 17-minute video. But to me, I think that summed all what, what they saw, got from Clubhouse. Okay. And that's what I wanted to do, because the Clubhouse one was like 17 minutes. Okay. They're listening to the Clubhouse. Right. Music. So that's what it is. Y'all two OGs, just reach out and forget y'all people upon you. Dang ain't it. Go directly to your person. And yeah, it'll get answered immediately. Y'all can answer yeah. probably take one one message or one conversation call five minutes and be yeah. good. Squash. And then y'all be posting on Instagram saying, you know, OG, OGs, OGs ain't y'all new ain't y'all new y'all. Making a hit. So, making another hit. For sure. Yep. yep. Put my mic out. Oh. Okay. Right there. So that's it for that, man. Please leave that work out, man. I don't yeah, even really think it's gonna be a long thing. It's just a little bit of, you know, misunderstanding. OG pride. That what it is. You know what I'm saying? Yep. And, and miss Anna. So, babe, go ahead and lean them on out. All right, guys. What was that? That's what you just did. Come on. Appreciate you guys for hanging out with us one more again. Let us know what you think about the video. Subscribe to the channel, guys. And don't forget to smash that like button. Smash that like yeah. button. Bye. See you later.